Thank you very much, Speaker, and I am very pleased to have the opportunity to speak uh, about Bill 175, the Safer Ontario Act. But before I get to that, I am disheartened that I have the opportunity to speak to this time allocation motion ahead of us. And you know, the ins and outs of the legislature, sort of, you know, inside baseball and hard to explain to the folks out there, and it's, it, it, it's worth explaining today because I've never seen anything like this. Um, and I, and I, wanna, I wanna read from the time allocation motion that we're debating today. And basically, time allocation is legislature fancy for rush. We, this is just, you know, a, 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 the ability to rush this bill through a 191 page bill um, that I had the distinct privilege, privilege of sitting in committee for six hours um, one of the days. And, and this, is, this is a big bill that folks want to talk about, but here we are debating this time allocation motion, which says today on March 5th, remember that, today's March 5th, that the deadline for filing amendments shall be 12.30, just after lunch, on Tuesday, March 6th. So that's tomorrow. So it's about 2.30 now. So by this time tomorrow, you'll already have missed the window to submit your amendments. And then, by the way, the committee shall be authorized to meet on Tuesday, March 6th, that's the same day as tomorrow, from 3.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the purpose of clause-by-clause -clause consideration of the bill. So get your amendments in. You have less than a day to do it. And by the way, you've got three hours for everybody, our researchers, our, our members of the legislature, to review <coughs> what is going to be a stack of amendments, to have not just a fulsome understanding, but also to make recommendations on which ones are the good amendments, which ones are the bad amendments, which ones will work. Is this the right legal fix? Is this actually the right amendment? Does this accomplish what it needs to accomplish? Three hours, and then Spirit gets so much better. Then they, they start the debate, from 3.30 to 11 p.m. That's gonna be a long day for you, but that's okay. However, after one hour, Speaker, at 4.30, those amendments that have not yet been moved or discussed, not yet been fulsomely debated in the one hour of debate allowed, one hour from 3.30 to 4.30, these amendments which have not yet been moved shall be deemed to be moved, and that the chair of the committee shall interrupt the proceedings and shall, without further debate or amendment, put every question necessary. So basically, then they all go to a vote. So you talk about as many of them as you can in a stack of probably it'll be an inch, inch and a half of, of straight amendments. After one hour of debate, the chair interrupts and says, okay, never mind, we're gonna consider them all to have been moved and now we're voting. And I've been in a committee when they've played this game and it's turn the page and you read the name of the amendment, you vote, the government votes every one of them down except for the two or three that they put in. Nobody needs to even know what they said because they don't care because the decision's been made. And if they want to argue that three hours of consideration, come on. Um, and then it gets reported no later to the House or no later than Wednesday, March 7th, which is the next day. And it says that the, if the committee even fails to report the bill, that it'll be deemed to be reported. So it doesn't even matter what the committee says, it'll be deemed to be passed. It comes in for third reading. And basically, it says, notwithstanding standing order 81C, the bill may be called more than once in the same sessional day. The vote, the third reading, all of that happens, done on the 7th. Today's the 5th. Like, this is disgusting. I could read from the standing order. You know what I'm going to, I never have before. So they're saying, notwithstanding what it says in the standing order, no government bill shall be called during orders of the day on both a morning and afternoon meeting of the House on the same sessional day without unanimous consent. And they're saying, who cares? We're the majority, we're the government. We don't need your unanimous consent. We wrote it on this time allocation motion. This is so gross, <laughs> this is, it's awful. It's so awful. Anyway, I took up way more time than I wanted to explaining the process to the government and none of them, have, they don't care. It's not relevant.